Hi, it's Leonora. Welcome to Naturally Fit. Today I'm going to talk about cinnamon right here. It is one of the most popular spices known to man. It is used in everything from desserts to main dishes, meats, seasonings, ice creams, hot chocolates, whipped cream, breads. It's delicious, but I have a love-hate relationship with it. Sometimes I love it, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. But I'm using it a lot in my um, golden milk tea and it's pretty delicious. So why, and it's good in chai as well. So why I wanted to do a video was because there were some articles coming out, coming out about fake cinnamon. Is there such a thing as fake cinnamon? Yes and no. So when the cinnamon is ground down from the bark into the powder, what happens is that usually some companies add flour. I think maybe to emulsify or thicken it, um, maybe to preserve it, but technically that's not really cinnamon if it has flour. It's like a cinnamon flour kind of thing, but it's not advertised as cinnamon flour, it's advertised as cinnamon. So that is a fake cinnamon. But cinnamon, the different variety of cinnamon, Cylon, C E Y L O N, that's how I say it, Cylon, Kylan, um, Cassia, those are originated from the same plant family. So there's no such thing as fake cinnamon per se. Um, cinnamon contains calcium, iron, manganese, which is really important. It's used for medicinal purposes. Cinnamon is very, very, very important in terms of natural healing. It can help with cancer, stopping the growth of cancer cells. It's an antibacterial, it has antibacterial properties. So if you're using um, cinnamon powder and ting, things, things, <laughs> things like um, tooth powders, that's really good because it, it kills the bacteria in the mouth. Um, and it also is really, really good um, in terms of macular, it stops macular degeneration in the eye, so that's really important. Um, and if you have excessive amounts of cinnamon in terms of like using it, cassia, for example, this will tend to have a negative effect on the liver and it will thin the blood. But I mean, you're talking like copious amounts of cinnamon. So I currently have one, two, three, four different types of cinnamon at home, right? And it's important to understand when I was doing a little bit of research on it, I actually was quite happy that I came across that article because you don't really tend to think about what you're buying. When you buy cinnamon, for example, if you buy the bark, you don't know how old this bark is. Now this this is like a tree bark, right? This tree bark could be 50 or 60 years old. You don't know you don't know because it doesn't it doesn't say anything on the package, right? You don't get the best before or used by sort of date or anything or harvested on this particular date. So if I wanted to have calcium, iron, manganese from the cinnamon bark, it will expire after a certain time. So it's good to sort of know when your cinnamon is being harvested, which you don't know if you're buying it from the store. I came across a site that sold fresh authenticated cinnamon bark. So you know when it's been harvested, you know how it's been harvested, technically when organically harvested, and you know basically that you're buying fresh cinnamon and they had a really cute little cinnamon grinder that you could sort of like grind the cinnamon into a powder with so that might be my next little buy um and then when you're buying like the cinnamon that is ground that goes through a process where i believe it's exposed to oxygen so the chemical component component of the uh, cinnamon changes um and it sort of makes it a bit in my opinion stale if it is not ground and packaged immediately if you leave it open to the elements i don't think that it's going to be able to keep all of its um beneficial properties as opposed to if you grind it and package it but you don't know how it's manufactured or processed so that's something that's to consider as well if you're buying cinnamon how do you buy it it's better to buy the cinnamon bark and if you're not buying the cinnamon bark maybe you can look for a company that sells the cinnamon um, with information as to how it's processed and how it's marketed, not marketing, how it's processed and how it's um, packaged. So you know you're buying the, the most fresh cinnamon that you can. And I wanted to encourage you guys to try different types of cinnamon. The most popular one is the the cinnamon cassia and cinnamon salad, as I've said, but I've also, I also have cinnamon, I can't even say xylanicum as well. So that's a, a really popular one that you can try to see um, if you can find that in a local store. 
And another fantastic thing about cinnamon is that it sort of stops or prevents um, prevents Alzheimer's disease. So if you have that as a, a genetic predisposition in your family, then adding cinnamon to things like maybe sprinkle it on some yogurt or on some granola or a sweet potato with a little bit of brown sugar that's delicious or on plantains. I've heard you could add a little bit of cinnamon onto that as well. That tends to be um, to be really nice. So I wanted to do a quick little video on cinnamon, the different types of cinnamon, the cinnamon bark, the cinnamon in the powder form and just in my opinion um, to have my little, my little say on the fact of is there fake cinnamon? Well if you're buying powdered cinnamon be aware of the fact that if you do not know how it's been manufactured then technically there can be um, things added to it like flour and if you're using it for medicinal purposes um, that's something important to know so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have hit that like button subscribe to my channel send any questions request um, feedback comments yada 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 that you might have and thank you for stopping by thank you for listening and I hope you have a blast and happy day ahead see you soon